Welcome. You are in a room with seven other people. One of them is orchestrating this event. When you discover who the orchestrator is, you may leave. This is your test. Good luck. So who's the orchestrator? It's not, it's not me. It's not me either. How do we know? Are we supposed to just trust you? No, but I know it's not me. And I know it's not me. Well, everyone's a suspect. If this was an experiment, the scientists wouldn't say much, would they? Wait, hold on. He's mute, he can't say anything. How do you know? Because I'm his interpreter. Oh, so you two know each other? Yes. Oh, well, that's fair. Hey, we're not pointing fingers. Not pointing fingers. Just because they know each other doesn't mean that they're the ones behind this. Plus, we were told that there's only one orchestra. Nobody asked you. No, what if it's actually a trick? What if there's two orchestrators and they only want us to think there's one? He's right. Who else in the room knows each other? So, so just those two then. More than suspicious. You two are awfully careful. You're throwing around accusations. Well, somebody has to figure this out. I think we should stay calm and use our brains. I second that. Again, nobody asked you. Why are we even playing this game? We can just bust out of here. We could go through the door. What if it's locked? If we could get out the doors or the windows, then it would be too easy. We have to pass the test. Sorry, that sounded a lot like you want us to stay here and play this game. You just meant the easiest way out was just to solve the puzzle. What do you think, like a little posse? You two seem to be getting along as well. Hey, everyone calm down. Are you suggesting that I'm behind this? I'm not suggesting shit. Good, because for a minute there it sounded like you were. Hey! Even if I were, what would you do about it? Let's just take a five minute break, all right? Who do you think it is? Honestly? He creeps me out. He barely said anything to me. Well, we can't rule anyone out, but we also can't go around accusing people. If we don't narrow it down, how are we going to get out of here? What does it matter how much he says? If someone is running an experiment, they would just sit back and observe. That's true. So you think it's him too? I didn't say that. If we're talking about people, you don't say much, I can think of someone. Why hasn't he said anything yet? Well, he's mute, he can't say anything. Well, you're his interpreter, he must say things in sign language, right? Well, yeah, he does. Is he stupid? No, he just doesn't say a lot. Here's what we need to 
figure out. Where are we, how did we get here, and how do we get out? We already know the answer to the last one. No, I don't care about who's running the show, I care about getting out. That's why we have to figure it out. Well, nobody's actually doing much figuring, are they? I know it's not me, and I don't think it's him either. Well, of course not. He's your bestie. It's not me. You don't know that. I know, that's why we need to figure it out. And I don't think it's you. Thanks. Why not? He's been trying to figure it out. The rest of you haven't. I'm just thinking in my head. Yeah, me too. Who do you think it is? Well, I don't really know. No, you said you were thinking in your head, so you must have an idea of who it is. Well, I'm just not sure. None of us are sure of anything, but we're still sharing our thoughts, aren't we guys? I think it's fair that we're allowed to keep our thoughts to ourselves if we want. The important part is figuring it out. We can do that without uh, making allegiances and throwing around accusations. So, you're saying we shouldn't work together? He's just saying that we should all work together instead of making little teams. If anyone were making teams, it would be you and him. We're not a team. Okay, you just said no teams. And you want them on this side of the table to be on their team. Maybe we should all be on the same team. I like that idea. We're all on the same team. And then you're gonna take charge and we'll never get out of here. You know, you talk a lot. You know which type of person would talk a lot? Who? Scared people. People talk a lot when they're scared. I'm not scared of shit. I'm not scared of saying that. We're all scared, that's the point of this whole thing. Oh, so you know the whole point of this, do you? No, I didn't mean it like that. He's right, we're all scared, and for good reason. I'm not scared. Oh, shut up. I'll say whatever the hell I want. Hey guys. What? When did that thing get there? I don't know how that got there, but we need to set some rules about it. The orchestrator put it there on purpose. We need to set some ground rules, or else he's right. We could get hurt or killed. I think nobody should touch the knife at all. What if we're supposed to use it for what? I don't know, but it's obviously there for a reason. If he put the knife in the room, he probably also put other stuff in the room. What if it's a clue? What do you mean? Like, what if it's supposed to give us a hint to who the orchestrator is? Like, does anyone here use knives a lot? What? But the important thing is that no one gets hurt because of it, right? Right. It's been used. What? To a knife. It's been used before. How do you know? The marks on the blade. What was it used for? What, I look like a forensic scientist? I don't know. What if we weren't the first ones trapped in here? The orchestrator probably killed everyone with it. That's a big conclusion you're jumping to. Let's not accuse anyone of murder, okay? Falsely or otherwise. We can't assume that anyone was murdered here, or with that knife. We need to focus on more practical things here, okay? When was the last time anyone ate, slept, or used the restroom? Why do you say that? Where do we use the restroom? Where do we eat? Where do we sleep? Who are you to? The orchestrator, who I know can hear me. If he's in the room, he can hear me. Maybe he can provide us with these things. We can have those things if we figure out the puzzle. 
think, Ann, you really want us to solve this puzzle, don't you? I really want to get out of here. Isn't it weird that we're all boys? Huh? There's no girls here. It'd be nice if there were. It's probably why there are. How did we get here? I don't actually know. What's the last thing you remember before being in here? Yeah, I, I can't remember. Like when a dream slips away. my life before this, but nothing recent. Like, all I remember is waking up here. That's some weird shit. He's messing with our heads. That's just wrong. I have a question. Yeah? How does the orchestrator expect us to get out of here without actually accusing someone? to have an accused anyone. So? The orchestrator would want us to accuse them. These three haven't tried to stop us from accusing anyone. I just said it wasn't him. How do you know? Because I know him. Oh yeah, that's right. I know him. He wouldn't do something like this. Wouldn't he? Say something. He can't talk. That, that, Say something. Say something in sign language. You're funny. Hey! What? Put that down. Put it down. That's not the solution. What if it is? What? That thing is in the room with us. It's a tool, not a weapon. You'd know how? I I don't think it's a weapon. It's a knife. It's a fishing knife, actually. How do you know that? Because I know what a fishing knife looks like. He's got a point. It's a fishing knife. A fishing knife can still kill. It's a knife for fish, not for people. It can still kill you. You're gonna be alright. No, no, no. You're gonna be fine. You killed him. How could you? So that we know what this is used for. Put the knife down. Why? Because you might kill another person. Might I? Would you? Get out of here is to kill everyone who is in the orchestrator! You need to calm down! I need to get out of here! Stop! Are you gonna stop me? So, you passed the test. When did you know? <laughs> Pretty early on, huh? Well, you got me. I suppose I should let you go.